shit. Okay, hopefully that thumbnail looks stupid enough. But anyways, what is up YouTube? Welcome to Star Life and welcome to yet another video. Today we are going to go over some Palace Supreme pickups. No, not Palace Supreme. Palace FTP pickups. I got a bunch of stuff from FTP. I have a bunch less stuff from Palace, but I still got a lot of heat from both of them. I honestly don't know which one I spent more money on because some of the pieces from Palace that I bought are pretty expensive, but I bought a lot more FTP. Now, originally I was going to do this as two separate videos. However, I don't really know if I want to do videos with Palace at all anymore. I mentioned that not too long ago, and then a lot of you guys were like, no, nah, like we still love the Palace content, yada, yada, yada. But because my last, like, Palace Winter Range review did not get nearly as much love as previous Palace videos, I kind of just gave you guys the option where, like, basically, if you guys want to see that content, you guys can hit that like button. If the videos get enough love, then I will continue to make Palace content. So, that being said, if you want to see more stuff from Palace and FTP, make sure you smash that like button. Challenging you guys right now. Can we please get 500,000 likes? I know that's kind of like a meme where people ask you to smash the like button, yada, yada, yada. But that's like actually how I gauge whether or not I'm going to create that content in the future. So genuinely, if you guys want to see me unbox this stuff in the future, then hit the like button. If you guys don't want to see it, then don't hit the like button and I just won't make videos on it anymore. I like doing Supreme shit, but I actually honestly prefer unboxings like this where I put on for other brands. And this, I mean, obviously both FTP and Palace are huge brands. They don't need me to put on for them at all. But... I just like putting on for more than just Supreme, you know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to FTP, because I think FTP is by far one of the realest brands in the game regardless. And anyone who watches me knows I've been a fan of FTP for quite some time now. Anyways, uh, let's see, what should we open up first? Should we open up FTP or Palace? I mean, these boxes are a lot bigger, and these Palace packages are a lot older. So let's, let's start with the Palace package. Let's get to it, baby. Let's see, I'm actually kind of curious. The other day I was like going through old Palace stuff, and I was like, wait, I bought that. Where is it? And then I remembered I never opened it. So one of these packages actually contained a piece that I, I was really excited to get and then I just never opened because I never ended up filming an unboxing because like I, I think this is the piece actually. But because like I said, the uh, videos weren't getting nearly as much love as other videos so I just didn't really focus on them. This is the piece. I wonder how these fit to be honest. I'm hella curious how these fit. I wanted these because I love Gore-Tex materials. I've mentioned this to you guys before. These are the Gore-Tex Palace Windstopper pant. As you can see, you have the little Palace Trifer right there, printed on sadly, but whatever. It's a really nice pant. I think it's gonna fit pretty damn well. I will try it on. I'm gonna put actually on the screen how it fits, but normally when it comes to pants such as these, I try to go with a small, just because a lot of times they'll have a baggier fit. With these, they might fit a little bit better, but with Supreme, it's really hard to wear mediums at all. I love that gold palm colorway, and on top of that, you already know I have the matching top as well. I kinda wish I would've got a black. To be honest, I kinda wish I would've got the full Gore-Tex black suit as well. Dude, what are you guys doing? Are you guys having a street race outside my house? What the fuck? What? I got a reverse OT? No way. I did, I did not get a reverse OT. Did I really? I don't remember getting this. I feel like there's no way that I actually got this tee. I feel like more than likely, I probably had my boy Christian Supreme Shop get this tee. But anyways, this t-shirt is nice, dude. This is like actually two t-shirts. It's not just a reversible tee. It's like actually two tees. It's really, really thick. As you can see, you got the triferg right there. You got the big triferg on the back. And then, what? It has a raw hem? That is so weird, dude. You flip it and you dip it, right? Let me... What the fuck? Okay, I can't figure this out. I'm con I am a lost soul. And BAM! You have yet another palace tee right there. Reverso tee. One thing I think is kind of strange is that the tag for this tee is... Like, down- like, they have a machine wash tag. I mean, I guess you could technically rip that tag to make it, like, truly reversible, but I've, I normally don't see tags on reversible goods. Oh, well, I don't really know why anyone would wear it with the pink side out anyways. To be honest, I think that the, uh, tri side is the best side to wear it, and this piece is it's sick. Thank you, Christian, because I know damn well I did not cop this by myself. All right, we already opened two heaters from Palace. Let's crack into some FTP. I was going to use the black blade, but instead I'll use the gold knife right here. Okay, I should have used the black blade. This shit is trash. Shibbity shibbity bang. I think I opened it from the bottom. Oh, these are already so beautiful. Now, I did have one of my FTP orders refunded to me because they couldn't fulfill the order, which I wasn't really complaining because I got a lot of duplicates of stuff, so it is what it is. Of course, you got the burgundy FTP slides. These are hard as fuck. You also got the FTP treads right there. And then you already know your boy also got the navy FTP slides as well. I already have two pairs of the navy ones, so I have like... Oh, dude, I have like five or six pairs of FTP slides. I think I got more as well. Um, we got the duff. Is this the? Oh, yep, yeah, that's the duffel. That's hard as fuck. I'll open that in a second. What's this? I don't know what the. 
Oh, this is sick. This is one of my favorite pieces right here. So this order came to $360 in two boxes, I'm guessing from what it says right there. But anyways, I need to open this piece because I've been gassed for this piece, honestly. I think this piece is so sick. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. I don't remember them having FTP Ziploc bags. Is that new? I feel like I've never gotten one of those. This piece, oh my god, this piece is so fucking hard, dude. A lot of people slept on this piece. This piece actually was kind of sitting on the site. It wasn't like anything crazy. I think this piece is so gas. I honestly wish they would have done it without elastic, but it is what it is. I'm not complaining. You have this all in navy right here, and then you have this red like center panel. And then of course it has FTP all embroidered. Look at that. I'm telling you, y'all were sleeping if you didn't cop this. This piece is by far one of the sickest pieces. Of course, you got a little Velcro kangaroo pocket or whatever they call those. There's no real point in opening these slides. If you guys didn't watch my last video where I opened them, then uh, I'm sorry, but you should have watched it because I already opened a pair of the slides. Um, anyways, getting on to the duffel bag. At least I think it's the duffel bag. It could be the... Yes, the duffel bag. This thing is sick. It's actually kind of nice, too. Like, this is heavy. Like, I feel like the quality has definitely increased for FTP. This feels like a good quality duffel. To be honest, in my opinion, the quality feels better than Supreme duffels. Shout out FTP, baby. I'm so gassed on that corduroy half zip. Let's open up another palace pack real quick. See what we got in here. Scoot, 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 scoot. By the way, at the end of the video, I will total up everything that I spent and I will put the totals for, that I spent from each brand on the screen. And maybe I'll flash the totals like right now and you know, a couple other times throughout the screen as well. But anyways, let's crack open this beautiful little package right here. This is the matching set for the one, the only, Palace Gore-Tex right here. As you can see, this thing is absolutely sexy. Now, this is not nearly as sexy as the Gore-Texes from the season prior to this. I think it was the Gore-Tex that actually dropped exactly one year ago. It looks like it has like this elastic shit on the bottom. I'm not really a big fan of that. I would rather it just kind of lay flat. And also, this one doesn't feel as stiff as the previous Palace Gore-Tex. It feels like a little bit lighter. Oh, maybe that's because it's a wind. That's why it's a wind stopper. It's meant more to be a wind breaker instead of like an actual Gore-Tex. It's just durable water repellent treatment. I don't know, we'll see how they do in the winter elements of Washington, but of course you already know your boys got the matching set. I'm really stoked that Palace is including prices on their uh, orders because back in the day, they used to never have totals, but this jacket was a lovely $360 ship. Fuck, that is so much money. Oh shit, stickers, do not forget stickers. I don't think I had any FTP stickers from that last box, but anyways, we'll crack open one more palace pack before we open up another beautiful FTP package. So, let's get into it. This feels a little heavier. Oh, this is another little uh, Gore-Tex, or did I get the pants too? Oh, I didn't. Fuck, man. I wish I would've got the pants in this color. Oh, I did get the pants in this color! Sick as fuck! Oh, here you go. Palace Gore Windstopper pants. Soft shell, of course, in the Beats colorway. Oh my goodness. Look at that. These are sexy. I kind of like this color more than the yellow color. The main reason I got them in like these colors instead of the black is because I already have the Palace Adidas uh, wind, like Gore-Tex wind, I don't know, that, that shit. I got two of those, so I didn't really need anything like this, but I wanted something that kind of pops, and these definitely pop. These are so sick. Ooh, we also got the Palace Couture. Like, this season was a good season. I feel bad for not opening this stuff in a more reasonable time because this season was sick. Like, they had a couple pieces throughout the season that were fire. I think this was probably the last season from Palace that I really enjoyed. Palace Means Couture. Absolutely gorgeous. The quality is immaculate. I love this colorway. I think this colorway is sick as fuck. We got a lot of stuff left to unbox as well. Like, this is gonna be a fat ass unboxing. More FTP Navy slides as if I don't have enough. We got, oh, FTP gloves. We got the FTP little shoulder bag, mandatory. Oh, are these the FTP construction vests? I got those in multiple colors as well. We got yet another FTP duffel in the orange colorway. We got the FTP backpack right there. Oh man, that's looking f***ing gangster. That orange is so sick. And then of course we got the FTP towel. And we got some FTP stickers. Now, I'm kind of sad because normally I get a lot of FTP stickers. I only got two, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. On this order, this was $309. Rate. So as you can see, I got a lot of shit for 300 bucks. As for the towel, the towel is just like this big ass black towel that says FTP. Look at this thing. Look at him. Look at that. That's nice and shiny. Look at him. Oh my god. Absolutely gorgeous, straight beach towel, ready to hit the beaches of Santa Monica and fuck up the population. I'm pretty sure these are just like two pocket bags. You got a little netting right there, netting right there. You have a little pocket right 
Yeah. Like, honestly, these backpacks feel pretty stiff. Like, they feel like they're good quality. I don't really know about the straps. I mean, I'm assuming they're good. Everything, like, the padding looks nice. They remind me of, like, OG Jansport bags and shit. And then there's no reason in opening the duffel because it's just like the black duffel that I opened. Okay, we are getting down to the nitty gritty people. Yet another palace sticker. I don't remember what this, what's this tea called? The K-Head t-shirt. So, come on. Get off my tee. As you can see, you got the little palace, little K head right there. I'm pretty sure this is kind of like an engine, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. You can tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not the biggest fan of this logo. Like, it's chill, but it's nothing crazy. There's better Triferg plays for sure. Like, there's better plays on their logo. And we got yet another palace package. I'm trying to think what else I've purchased recently. Palace is, like, really hard to cop, like, especially if you're manual, like myself. Uh, this is, I think this t-shirt's kind of sick. I think this t-shirt's slept on for sure. This is the fishy t-shirt. And if you look right here, you have a little, like, fish right here with the triferg as bait. I think that's super dope. I want to get the Supreme uh, fish t-shirt as well for the Supreme goldfish tee. I think it's one of my favorite Supreme tees. So it'd be sick to have both of those. Definitely a sick-ass tee. I think this is going to be my personal collection. And then next up, we have this piece. And I do think that this piece is... I don't know, it's one of the better tees from this season, to be honest. As you can see, it almost looks like a Palace, like, NASCAR cup tee. It's actually for golf, I'm assuming, since it says different strokes. Last but not least, in this pack, we got a little uh, flip coin stash, flip stash. This is the yellow but <clears throat> I believe I got both colors as well. As you can see, it just says Palace right there. It's got a little uh, thing right there. And I believe this should be big enough to hold financial goods it is big enough yes boy i really hope i have the black one obviously this is my last package and to be honest it only feels like one thing it feels like a backpack or something oh this is ftp this isn't even palace what the fuck okay so i guess that's all my palace that makes sense on to the ftp unboxing then for the rest of it as you can see we have yet another ftp backpack I have an ftp sticker right here we got an ftp little uh air freshener right there as well we have three more ftp boxes i believe these are the boxes with clothes right here and i believe both these are just skateboards but we will see in a moment i know that they do have skateboards in them obviously because of their elongation no big deal i'm a geometrist one of those boards are actually for my boy carlos because uh he couldn't get it and so i'm actually going to trade him for his ftp bear i'm going to trade him the deck and i'm also going to have to trade him two supreme markers I yet another ftp backpack here's my order this is a 223 dollar order ftp shoulder bag these things are so sick they're a lot smaller than a lot of other shoulder bags you got the little ftp patch right there that is absolutely mando yet another pair of ftp slides the ftp corduroy g slips these are actually for me personally because i wanted these to match the corduroy top man these are so sick look at those these are gangster i love this shoe and these are definitely mandatory for the personal collection we got another ftp towel another sticker another box to throw across the room this feels heavier than this so i don't know if i got two boards or what i did get two boards yes i did i don't know which color i got for my boy carlos but as you can see we got the ftp like orange board and the blue board right there it says ftp is not a skateboard company and last but not least we got this order which contains one more skateboard. Woo! Some more FTP slides, baby! Some more stickers. I hope I just didn't stab my beautiful HR Geiger tee. I will be livid. Now let's compare the, uh, let's go over the stickers and the uh, prices. So of course, you know, your boy got some FTP black stickers right there. I got three FTP stickers. I got the wear which is like the world exploding. I got two of those. I got the FTP blue sticker or FTP logo blue sticker. And then the fuckthepopulation.com and affiliate websites have been seized sticker. I actually already have one of these, I believe. Then with the Triferg, we got one Triferg, two Triferg, three Triferg, four Triferg, five Triferg, and like five and a half Trifergs. This is trash and fucked up. I didn't open these, but I was really curious how these fit. I got a large XL and a small medium, so I'm really curious how these fit. Because they're two sizes, I kind of wanted to like see how they fit for you guys at home. So this is the small medium right here. So it looks like the small medium fits me. I'm about 5'8 when it's sunny outside. 150 pounds right now. Yeah, it seems like the small medium is definitely the size for me. If you are bigger than that, then I would recommend going with the larger. I'm not even gonna open this one up because it's gonna be too big for me. I also really wanna see how these palace pants fit. Hey, these don't fit half bad low key. I kinda like these, they're really lightweight. Yeah, I think I went with the right size, dude. Skirt. 
I like the fit on these. These are sick. In regards to the rest of the sizing, everything else, I mean, with FTP and Palace tees, I normally get a large. I do like my tees to fit a little bit bigger usually. So, I mean, at my size, really, I should be going for a medium. Also, in terms of, like, sweatshirts and hoodies, I get larges in all of them as well. When it comes to jackets, I usually get a medium. And I believe with these gore stoppers or gore wind stopper things, I've got a medium as well, I believe. No, I got a large. That was really dumb. I should have gotten a medium. And uh, last but not least, it is time to compare prices. Oh, I got two of these stickers and no, it's not time to compare prices because I forgot about this little palace pack right here, which I'm hoping is that other coin pack that I thought I had. Come on, open up, bitch. Yeah, boy! It is. We also got another pile of stickers, so we got like six and a half pile of stickers. I'm kind of curious who I spent more money on. Granted, the FTP was only from like, what, one one maybe two drops like i'm actually surprised at how much ftp i got i got freaking two duffel bags two backpacks i got a half zip i don't even know how many slides two towels two construction vests two or three shoulder bags three decks like i just got a lot of shit from ftp i feel like with palace i didn't really get that much stuff but a couple of the items were just high dollar items a little bit more money than average but anyways what do you guys think which brand do you like better, Palace or FTP? Like I said before, if you want to see Palace and FTP content, of course, make sure you smash that like button down below. If this video gets enough love, I will continue to make content for Palace and FTP, and maybe I'll start doing them in like their own videos in the future. This is a pretty big unboxing, over 2,500 bucks on Palace and FTP. That's pretty freaking huge for a non-Supreme video. But anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace the fuck out.